and welcome to our lesson on reflecting objects on a grid. So in today's lesson, the mirror line will be given as an equation. So in the case of question A, the mirror line is x equals negative 1. And if we consider coordinate pairs are made up of an x and a y value, so the points along this line will always be when x is equal to negative 1. So at this point, for instance, x is negative 1 and y is 1 and it is anywhere along this line. So we'll draw the mirror line at x equals negative 1. And when we reflect object A, we're going to reflect the vertices to the mirror line. And you can see this is two units away. So the reflected point will be again two units away. The same is true for all vertices. They are an equal distance from the mirror line. We can join the reflected coordinates together to create our reflected image. Okay, for question B, we have reflect object A in the line y equals 5. So again, we have our coordinate pair. The value of x will change, but the value of y will always be 5. So this will be along this line here. So I can draw the line y equals 5, which is parallel to the x-axis. And our reflected object, this vertex here, is invariant. This is a key word for today's lesson. Invariant means it is reflected upon itself. And this point is 3 units away. So its reflected image is 3 units. This point is this point here. And then we can do a final point and we'll draw the lines between the reflected coordinates. For question C, we have a coordinate pairs of x and y, and this time the value of x is always constant as 1. So the value of y will change. So this will fall along this line. And you can see this vertex is three units away. So it is reflected the same distance away on the other side of the mirror line. And this vertex goes to here. And this edge is reflected of this edge. And then we have this point here, which is reflected to here. And we can draw out the shape. So this is a reflection of object C. Okay, for question D, do you want to copy the grid on square paper and then reflect object B in the line y equals 7? Okay, so we have a coordinate of x and y and this time the value of y is constant at 7 and the value of x will change. So the line will go horizontal parallel to the x axis. And we can draw in our line at y equals 7. So now we can reflect the vertices to the mirror line. So this vertex is one unit away. And this vertex is the same. So this edge is reflected to here. This edge is reflected downwards. And again, on the other side of the mirror line. Okay, do you want to try and reflect object C in the line x equals zero? By pausing the video and you can review it when you're ready. So for question E, the coordinate pair of x and y, this time the value of x is constant at zero. So this will be on the y axis. So I'll just draw in this mirror line down the y-axis, which is x equals 0. And I can reflect object C. This vertex is 2 units away, so it's 2 units on the other side. This vertex is 4 units away, so it's reflected to here. I'll recreate this edge. And then this vertex is reflected to here. 
and then I can close the shape and this will be the transformed image of the object C. And finally, we can reflect object A in the line y equals x. Okay, the question F, we have a reflection of object A in the line y equals x. So because y is equal to x, whatever value the x coordinate is, y will be the same. So if x equals negative 8, y will be the same. And you can see this creates a diagonal line where y is equal to x. And I'm going to reflect object A in its vertex to here and this vertex to here and then this vertex to here and I can recreate the shape. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.